Hello, welcome to Teach Together Try. Today we are looking at place value. We are looking at place value and I've drawn for you a place value chart. I'm just going to actually show you in close up my place value chart. So here I come. Look, down the bottom we've got the ones. There's the ones. Up there we've got the tens. Then we've got the hundreds. Then we've got the thousands. Then we've got the ten thousands. Then we've got the hundred thousands. That H stands for hundred thousands. Hundred thousands. And this M here stands for millions, which is the same as thousand thousands. Wow. So that's the place value chart close up. I'm just going to put you back down and check that everything's aligned. Good. I hope you've had a close look at it. And the place values chart is really important, guys, because it helps us to order numbers. It gives us information about numbers. It, it actually explains, you know, when we see a bunch of numbers, what value each number has. So, for example, look, I'm going to write a bunch of numbers on the board. Here we go. I'm going to write a, I'm going to write a six in the millions column, a seven in the hundred thousands column, uh, a zero in the ten thousands column, uh, a two in the thousands column a three in the hundreds, a one in the tens, and a nine in the ones. And this, this, this chart shows us that this number is, that this number is, six million, seven hundred and two thousand, three hundred and nineteen. This chart can actually help us to read numbers out loud. And more than that, any given number in this chart, we should be able to know the value of. For example, do you see this three? I bet you can see that three. I've just drawn a big red circle over it. I bet you see it. That three, because it's in the hundreds column, it's in the hundreds column, is equal to 300. Because it's 300. It's 300. Look, see this 9 all the way down here. I hope it's on screen. I'll just check. It is. It's there, isn't it? See this 9 down here. This 9 is equal to 9 ones. It's 9 times 1. So that's just equal to 9. Okay. See this, see this 2 here. I'll put a circle around it. I should circle it, shouldn't I? See this two? That two is not actually just equal to two. That's not like two donuts. Because that's a two in the thousands place value column, it's a two there in the thousands place value column, we say this two is equal to two thousand. That's equal to two thousand. Really? So to review, this 3 really means 300. This 2 really means 2,000. This 9 really means 9. This 10, look, look, look at the number in the tens column. It's a 1, isn't it? But it doesn't mean like 1 pizza. Because it's in the tens column, it means 1 10. So I'll write that down there. I hope, I hope that this is clear. This is the place value chart. And it shows us the value of all the numbers in each column. Look, look at this number all the way up here. There's six. That's not like six pieces of chocolate. Because it's in the millions column. Because it's in the millions column. <laughs> because it's in the millions column. It's equal to six million. Look, it's big. It's a big number. Six with, with, with six zeros after it. Six. I have to go into the other column. No, I won't. I'll behave myself. Six million. There's six is equal to six million. That's big. Let me write it properly like I should. No one writes six million like that. Mr. Burns, like this. Six million. Because it's in the millions chart. Can you? I think I've taught you enough. Can you tell me, can you tell me 
what this seven is equal to. It's in the hundred thousands. It's in the hundred thousands column. What's the seven equal to? Well, let me help you out. It's equal to seven hundred thousands. Because it's dealing with hundred thousands. I'm gonna give you a go. I think I think that I think that I've taught you enough. I hope that I've taught oh here's a tricky one. I'm glad I nearly left out it. What about this one here? This zero. Look at this zero here. This zero is equal to zero ten thousands. Now what's zero lots of ten thousand? Zero times ten thousand is naught. <laughs> so that actually has zero value. I'm giving you a go. Let's give you a go. I'm going to rub all this out. And we're back. We're up to the together phase now. You're going to do this one with me. Here's the number, by the way. 2,380,300. Three hundred and twenty-eight. So, what's the value of this two? Look, it's in the tens column. Don't tell me the answer's two. What's the value of it? It's in the tens column. Pause me. Have a go. I hope you said it was two lots of ten, which is is twenty, because it's two tens, so it's twenty. What about this one? What's the value of this? Uh, Eight here. It's in the ten thousands column. It's in the ten thousands column. The, the answer is not eight. It's eight lots of ten thousand. What's the value there? Eight lots of ten thousand. Pause me. Have a go. See if you can have a go yourself. I hope you pause me. I hope we're back. It's actually eighty thousand. Because it's eight lots of ten thousand. That eight there equals eighty thousand. What about the value of this three? Don't write down three. Don't say three equals three, Mr. Burns. No, this is three in the hundreds column. So what is three in the hundreds column equal? Pause me. Write it down. Pause me and write it down. It equals three. Hundred, because it's in the hundreds column. You're going to have a go all by yourself. And we're back. We're in the try phase. You're going to try this all by yourself. Let's have a go. Um, here's the number: eight million four hundred and twenty-two thousand six hundred and nine. I want you to write me the value. Of this number, I want you to write me the value of this number, and I want you to write me the value of this number. Right? You write me the value of that number. Don't you dare say this is equal to two and that's equal to eight because it's not. <laughs> Have a go. Have a go. Have a go at all of them if you like. All right. Pause me. Find me the value of this eight, the value of this two, the value of this nine. Thank you. I hope you paused me, we're back. Right, this is nine ones. So it's actually nine times one, which is nine. So that nine actually equals nine. This two here is in the ten thousands column. So that's not equal to two, that's two lots of ten thousand. That's equal to two lots of ten thousand, which is two lots of ten thousand is twenty thousand. That's what that two actually equals, twenty thousand. What about this eight here? It's in the millions column. Wow! That is not equal to eight. That is equal to eight million. Eight with six zeros after it. Wow, what a big number. By the way, the place value column is so useful. And I wonder if you've noticed, this is really all units. This section here, this is your unit section. Units, isn't it? One unit, ten unit, hundred units. This is your thousand section. I wonder if you've worked this out. This is your thousand section over here. Thousands. Isn't it? One thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousands. The next is all your millions. But, I'm not sure you need to know that just yet. But the place value column. What a useful tool it is. 
You are going to have to memorize it. It's going to be important in your learning. Take a good final look at it for me, thank you. Because by Jingo, it's going to help you to organize numbers. Here's your ones, here's your tens, here's your hundreds, here's your thousands, here's your ten thousands, here's your hundred thousands, and here's your millions. And that never changes. It stays the same. Thanks for watching.